So let's check the first diode. Good. Let's check the second diode. We have already. This is a good double diode component. Here we have basically another diode. This is basically a, a protection diode. As you can see, this white mark means the cathode. And over here we have the anode. So let's check this diode using, of course, the multimeter. So we're gonna put the black probe in the cathode and the red probe in, in the anode. We should get a reading. As you can see, we get 660 drop voltage. If we swap the probes, we should not get anything in the multimeter. This is a good protection diode. So we find this kind of diodes near to the power jack, to the laptop motherboard power jack. Hi, in this video, you're going to learn SMD diode testing. I'm going to show you how to test many types of SMD diodes, including Zener diodes, diodes with three terminals or double diodes, normal diodes, etc. Of course, we're gonna use the multimeter and we're gonna select in our testing the diode option, okay? So, let's first know about the definition of the diode. What is a diode? A diode basically is an electronic component that allows current to pass in just one direction, but not in the other. In other words, an ideal diode will have zero resistance in one direction and infinite resistance in the other direction. A surface mount diode or the SMD diode has two metallic leads which allow it to be soldered directly on a printed circuit board. So as you can see here, basically this is the symbol for the diode. Here we have two terminals, the anode positive and the cathode negative. So as you can see here, this arrow here we have current. The current flow always from anode to cathode, from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. So here as you can see basically where this is a real diode as you can see this bar here as you can see here means the cathode as you can see and over here we have the anode. So before going to the practical using the multimeter in real diodes in the real motherboards let's first know about the polarity. So basically here to test a diode, you should put the red probe in the anode, as you can see, and the black probe in the cathode. And if you do so, you should get a reading, about 700 drop voltage. And of course, when you swap the probes, as you can see, the black probe in this time in the positive terminal, and the red probe in the negative terminal, as you can see, you should not get anything in the multimeter. You can just get one in the multimeter or a high value in the multimeter. Okay, because the diode allows the current to pass just in one direction, as we have seen in the definition, not in both directions. Okay, so that's why when you swap the props, you will not get any reading in the multimeter. So now let's learn do SMD diode testing in real motherboards. Let's check this Zener diode. As you can see, we get a reading when we put the red probe in the anode and the black probe in the cathode. We get a reading in the multimeter. But if I swap the probes, as you can see, nothing in the multimeter. Right now, let's check this protection diode that we find in laptop motherboards or even computer motherboards. Always you can find this type of diode near to the power jack. As you can see, its reference is D21. Okay, this white mark, as you can see here, refers to the cathode. Okay, and in the other side, we have the anode. So we're gonna check it using the the multimeter and using the same working principle, the cathode, the black probe in the cathode and the red probe in the anode, we get a 650 drop voltage. So let's swap the probes. 
we should not get anything in the multimeter. This is basically a serviceable diet. Okay, if you get a short or a continuity, means the diet is bad. Okay, so you should always pay attention for technicians that work in the laptop or computer motherboards. Always pay attention to this kind of diodes. So the anode always is connected to the ground, as you can see. It's anode always is connected to the ground, as you can see, because it is a protection diode, and the cathode connected to the power rail in the power jack. Let's discuss. A little bit about the symbols, the diode symbols. So basically, this is the symbol of a normal diode, as you can see, with the anode or positive terminal and the cathode or negative terminal. Of course, we have this second symbol is for the Zener diode. Basically, the Zener diode is used for to stabilize the current. Okay, we use it to stabilize the current. Okay, so try always to differentiate between these two kinds of diodes, a normal diode and the Zener diode. So here basically this symbol is for a double diode. Okay, you can find this kind of diodes in the computer motherboard, a double diodes. Okay, so for the double diode, as you can see in the motherboard, it has always a three terminals, as you can see here. Here we have a double diode, as you can see. Here we have another double diode. Okay, it has three terminals, exactly like the transistor. So now let's check other diodes in order to go deeper into understanding how to test diodes, here we have a normal diode with two terminals. It's not an engineer diode, this is just a normal diode. We're gonna use the same working principle. We get a 700 voltage in the multimeter. If I swap right now the probes, means the red probe in the cathode and the black probe in the anode, nothing in the multimeter. The diode is a good diode. So let's check this Zener diode right now. Here we have plus, as you can see, plus, and over here we have this black line means the, the cathode. So let's put the red probe in the anode and the black probe in the cathode. We get a reading. If we swap the probes, nothing in the multimeter. As you can see, no reading in the multimeter means this Zener diode is a good diode. Right now, let's check this diode with three terminals. This is a double diode. We should get, we should find two diodes. This is the first diode, okay? And over here, we have the second diode. Two diodes inside this component. If we swap the probes, we should not get any reading in the multimeter. So let's check nothing in the multimeter. You should always differentiate between diodes, transistors, and MOSFETs, okay? Because sometimes you can find that the MOSFET is, is exactly like the transistor or the double diode in its shape, okay? But in terms of testing, there is a big difference, okay?